We're here today in Queens, New York to take you on a tour of the MTA Capital Construction Eastside Access Project and Herald Interlocking. We're going to show you some of the daily challenges we face as we work to build one of the largest transit projects in the country. Eastside Access is actually giving Long Island Railroad the opportunity to run directly into the east side of Manhattan and Grand Central Terminal. It's huge for those people that live in Long Island and actually work on the east side of Manhattan. It cuts their commute by more than 45 minutes. And to do that is a whole new series of tunnels and networks getting through Queens and then connecting into Manhattan via a series of tunnels underground. This is the busiest rail corridor in the country. Over 750 trains a day come through and we're never allowed to shut down the railroad. There's just really no other area in the Northeast that all three railroads of this magnitude come together. One of the main goals that we are all working on here at Eastside Access is to expand Herald Interlocking to accommodate new railroad tracks and new trains running in and out of Manhattan. I think one of the main jobs that we all perform here is coordinating together to work succinctly and in the right sequence. Performing this kind of construction would be easy in an open, empty field, but obviously that's not the case here in Harold. All construction is directly adjacent to active railroad tracks with live 12,000 volt AC catenary overhead or 750 volt DC dirt rail on the ground. So during rush hour, we can have a train running through Harold every five minutes or so on any track in any direction at any time. So safety is definitely a priority. Construction is in Harold is split up into multiple ESET access contracts, which organize the scope of work and the priorities. We put up about 93 above ground catenary structures. Underground 12 kV is fed to these catenaries, which will power up the pentagrams that power up these Amtrak trains. In addition to that, we've built some bridges. We're trying to segregate Amtrak and Long Island so that they both have their own paths in and out of the tunnels and with minimal crossings. Contract CHO 54A is a utility contract. The idea of the contract is to uh, replace and remove utilities so that follow-on contracts can build the final infrastructure. For example, the 12 kV duct bank, we had to demolish the existing 12 kV for Eastside Access's work, and therefore we had to replace Amtrak's traction power duct bank. The most difficult part of that work was the construction of the microtunnel which went underneath uh, 10 tracks. At some points we were uh, five feet below track, which makes it uh, extremely difficult to get in. Right now I'm on the westbound bypass contract. The main part of this contract is going to be building a 620 foot jack shield tunnel underneath two of the mainline Amtrak tracks. And the purpose of the westbound bypass is to create kind of a reroute through the Herald interlocking so the trains don't have to slow down as they're going through. So ultimately, this will end up saving time for commuters. In the next year, we're looking to see a lot of progress with the Westbound Bypass. We're looking to wrap up this 12 kV relocation that's been a challenge for us for the longest time. We just finished the S feeder relocations. We're currently working on the C feeder relocations. So that'll be another big piece behind us. On the signal side, we're looking to get the H3 cutover completed. We currently have a job out for bid, 57, which will be building the 48th Street Bridge, the Tunnel D approach, and some other components. We're looking to get that underway. And with that work moving forward, that will lead to the H5630 cutover, which is a big cutover for us planned at the end of 2016. We're glad you had a chance to see some of the work here in Herald Interlock in Queens. We hope to update you soon on the progress to come.